what is going on everyone uh day number nine in the woods and on the water uh is slowly coming to a close for sure i have spent most of the day around camp filtering water hunting and sawing up wood and uh just my normal things you know had my breakfast this morning and uh my coffee delicious but I figured since I got all that done can't let a whole day go by without any fishing so I am not bluegill fishing I brought down a new little artificial here this is more like for crappies or maybe bass I am just going to cast it around for a while that way there is a little bit of fishing that has went on today putting that license to use do I expect to catch anything no I don't but you never can tell let's uh do some casting around and uh see if we can come up with something big old brown bass would be nice all right or some crappies because them's a little bit bigger than bluegills and they're good eats i might have to clean some of them by lantern light if that was to happen I think I can feel that spinner running in the water. I think it's running properly. I will see as it gets closer. The water here is clear enough to tell whether your lure is running properly, at least when it gets closer to the bank. Of course, with no sun out, I cannot see it at all. Well, can't tell. Yeah, it's running properly. I can see it coming through the water. It's all right. I hope this video is not washed out. I cannot tell for sure, just like some of the other ones that I've made with this camera. Let's just hope not. I, think I will say I do not like the way the line wraps up on this lure. It does not help a thing. It is what it is, I guess. If I'd have had more time, I'd have liked to come down here and bluegill fished. But this rain keep coming in and out and thinking it's going to rain, never rain, and all that. Did not have the time. This lure is the bigger version of the ones I use for bluegills. Snagged into something there. It's a stick. Caught me a stick fish, eh? Guess that's better than no fish at all. I thought for sure the lure was a goner. But luckily it came up off the bottom. Gee wee. Lose my lure would not be a good thing. It's running really nice down there. All we need is a fish that thinks, ooh, that looks tasty. Let's take a bite of that and we'll have one to 
you know, to show off a little bit. Be nice if it was a crappie. That's what I'd like to have. Darkness is coming quickly, people. In about the next two, then maybe in a half hours at the most, it will be pitch black out here. Yep, 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 yep. As far as other people goes, I might have seen maybe two bass boats come down through here today. And that is it. Never can tell. I am going to check the drag on this reel. All right. Want to be sure if a big old monster fish slams into this thing, he don't just take off booking and pow, snap my line. That'd be bad. Have had that happen before, and it is not cool. I think I have got myself a snag. I have. Looks like this may be the end of this episode of fishing. Or this fishing clip. Because I am going to lose my lure. Oh, it came loose. Another big old stick fish. bit of steady pressure there that did it brought it up off the bottom Ooh, almost got me there came off right at the bank Let's check the lure here and get back to some casting Do normal. Soft plastic is fine. It is not damaged or anything. Still ready to roll. Do some more casting before it gets too dark here. And uh, 
I have to run back to camp. I did wear my snake gaiters. I've been wearing them pretty much all day long. Kind of got tired of wondering every time I take a step if I'm fixing to have something hit me in the calf or the ankle. It's not cool. You're always going to worry about it, you know. So I just put the gators, snake gators on, and I think I will just continue to do that uh, so long as it is not too hot out. If it is too hot, I will have to uh, just pay attention. That's all I can do and hope nothing dumb happens. Different ways to work this lure. You could use it as a jig or as a spinner bait like I'm doing. It is, I think, a one half ounce beetle spin. Something did hit it. It's most likely going to be a bass or a crappie. Definitely something other than a bluegill. It would have to be one heck of a bluegill to smack into this thing. And he would have to be hungry. Not even know if the gear ratio on an old Zebco like this would even be proper. You know, for uh, pitching around this kind of lure, you know, the bring back speed. Different gear ratios, of course, are going to uh, come back in at different speeds. You know, I just, I just don't know. Never looked into it. Does that still look all right there? I, I guess it does. I can't, like I say, I can't tell very well at all. Trying a little bit of jigging up and down there. I'm gonna try to mimic some live bait. Right now it's going to be a cool night out. I'm glad I went and collected some of that firewood. So after dinner I can still sit around, you know, outside. Enjoy the sounds of the woods. It's way down there in the cove. Some few pieces I can see over there on the opposite bank of some uh, firewood. I drug down out of the woods, some of it that is. Some of it was already there. I don't know who put it there, but it's still laying there. It's over there on the opposite shore over that way when the uh, bush plane came in. Up there in the woods messing around and drug a little bit down. May wind up having to go over and get it, drag it through the uh, muck down here at the end of the cove and take it up to camp, saw it up.
keep stopping and untangling this thing. I do not care for that at all. Doing nothing but creating a bunch of line twist. had nothing on this lure, not a tap, nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? All wrapped around the end up there by the spinner. much like the way the big beetle spins are designed and when I bought these I did not mean to buy this size I thought I was getting smaller ones you know for bluegills and the like but I've got them so I will try them out Kind of feels kind of jumpy and stuff coming through the water. It's very strange. Not smooth at all. I don't even like the way this feels, reeling with this reel. This does not, to me, feel like it should. Look at there, got a little bit of milfoil on there. That would be good bass territory. Keep an eye on this here. Yeah. I don't know how long I will run it. I think I'm going to run it to about 25 minutes. We are on 19 now. And then I'm going back to camp and uh, get ready to have my dinner. It has been a day in the woods.
So even right here, we're not paying any attention. The snake could slither right up on you. You wouldn't even know it. Go take a little step and pow, there you are. Daggone, I wish those bluegills would stay alive in the basket. So I could just, I could be bluegill fishing right now. But I'm not gonna catch them and put them in the basket if I can't clean them right away. If I'm just gonna come down here the next morning and they're gonna be dead. Can't have that. Okie dokie, Smokey. Little pop, get that blade spinning. Gee, it is already getting cool out here. Get me out something a little bit longer, put it underneath my shorts, you know. A pair of pajama pants or something. Or as I like to call them, fat pants. Call them that because after you eat a great big huge meal, you have them on, you are the most comfortable, you know. See, I think that thing is swimming sideways. It is. Makes me think it is tangled up again. Yes, it is. One thing I will say, the smaller version beetle spins, the ones that are for uh, bluegills, they don't do this, Jayus, at all. I don't know why the bigger ones have to do it. Another little jig action. Every time I do that, I expect to lose my lure for sure. Ooh, almost pitched it right on the bank over there. Same spot as before. This time I do not think it's going to come loose. I got lucky last time. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this one over with, and I'm going to take a little walk around the bank, try to pull it from that side over there, see if I get my lure back. And until later, uh, yeah, I will just have to catch everyone yes. after a while. What's going on, everyone? I said I was going to quit, and uh, I changed my mind. I just went over and picked up my other little pole, the one I normally... Uh, fish for bluegills with. I'm just going to cast it around a few times and really shouldn't be doing this. I should be hiking back through the woods to get back to camp. That's what I should be doing.
See, now this reel is nice and smooth. It is a little Zebco Delta, and it's spooled with a uh, Cajun line. It's just a little micro reel made for bluegill fishing. decided to do another little little segment because I believe I have the time. See a little bass down there in the water. He was sitting right there when this little uh, this little spinner come by. He's like, uh, no, I ain't gonna hit that right now. I can still see him down there. I'm gonna bring this lure by him again. He has no interest in it at all. Zero. Wouldn't mind catching one gill. I put him back, but always keeping an eye out for Mr. Slithers. Even though I have these gators on, I still don't want to step into one if I can avoid it. my phone on me don't work but it's still good for telling time yep 1738 yeah about another 10 minutes and I gotta I gotta cut it off I gotta stop take my little stroll through the woods Surprised no little bass has hit that little lure the entire time, you know, I've been trying it out. Nice cold Little Kings is going to be so nice around the fire tonight. Looking forward to it. Uh-huh. 
uh, squirrels over there on the other side of the bank. Playing around up there in the treetops. I've probably said it a bunch, but this place is plum eat up with squirrels everywhere around here. There's no doubt about it. Every place I've ever been around here has been eat up with squirrels. But this year we will put some of God's bounty to use. Mm, some fried squirrel in the pan there with some pepper and some salt. All bubbling in some cream of mushroom soup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Try to avoid bringing any kind of canned food with me out here. But this year, since there's gonna be some squirrel hunting going on, I had to have that cream of mushroom soup. Oh man, I can taste it right now. Delicious stuff indeed. And for people who don't like squirrels, well, that's more squirrel for old Rob and others who do like squirrels. bouncing around over there and see the branches all moving and stuff. All right, I'm gonna let this one sink a second. There it goes, now we'll start to retrieve. I've got some hits like that before. This would be the perfect time to be slinging a nightcrawler out there for sure. Not one nibble, none. I cast over that way, what do you think? I think it's going to produce the same result it's been producing since it got down here tonight. And as the weather gets cooler, the bluegills will go deeper. And then I may not catch a single more bluegill. Maybe not one, who knows? I went few, through a few days of nightcrawler fishing and did not catch any gills, then I would just have to revert all to squirrels. All right, what are we on here? Yeah, well, about ten and a half minutes. Five more casts, and then I'm headed to camp. Call it a day. call it a day, as far as fishing goes. Won't be nothing left, but 
cooking some dinner, and then sitting around the fire until bedtime. Two casts left after this one, people. Can't believe, not even a tap or a nibble or nothing. That's just not right, I'm telling you. Last cast of day nine. See how tomorrow goes. Definitely do have to have a shower tomorrow because I did not get one again today. I decided to go firewood hunting instead. All right. That is it. A wrap on the fishing. Couldn't just let the whole day go. Well, I decided to come down here and mess around a little bit. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Bear with me a second. All right, that will do it. I'm going to uh, shut this down. Go over and tie up the bag sitting on my canoe. It's got some of my fishing stuff in there. Uh, grab that solar jenny and take it with me as I hike back through the woods there. And I will catch everyone after a while. And uh, until then, I hope everyone is having a good night. Bye for now. Oh, hold on. Real quick here, just wanted to say, it's a squirrel over there. I just saw him come down out of the woods. He walked down this log and he's getting him some water out of the lake over there. You won't be in trouble, I'm telling you. Good eats over there. All right, now for real this time, I will uh, catch everyone later.